What do you think it was that they were doing that kind of stifled the passing game as much as it, as it was stifled? Yeah, you know, they were bringing uh, a lot of really good pressure. Um, you know, not not us not giving them, uh, DJ enough time to you know re really lock in on his reads and, and do everything that uh, that he needed to do. So, um, you know, it's partly on me and and, uh, and as an offense, all we can do is look in the mirror, see how we can get better, and uh, and, and go after the next goal. As well as y'all ran the ball, was it surprising to not be able to, to do more on offense? Um. You know, I, I'm just out there running plays. Uh, you know, I, I get the signal and I, I line up and I go. Um, you know, I, I try to input or, or give anything I can that I see on the field. Um, if they take it, they take it. If they don't, they don't. Um, you know, so I just I just do my job. Were there any things you did see that you feel like maybe they could have gone to? Yeah, there's definitely some things out there um, that, that, that we can uh, that we could have attacked, but um, you know, they, they they chose to attack some other things that that were there as well. So. Any, any specifics? Oh, no, no specifics. How do you shelve this and move towards that ACC championship? Bigger fish to fry, as it were. Yeah, just just uh, like I said, take a step back, look in the mirror, um, and and you know make adjustments, um, make corrections, and uh, th there's got to be a, a want to, um, right? You can't just go in next week and and uh, harp on this loss. You know we've got we've got huge things ahead of us, ACC championship, um, and then you know whatever comes after that. So um, you know we really just got to take a look in the mirror and. And, uh, and get better from this. 40 game home, you know, behind us now. It's the year to start. What talk about what that means to you guys. It's a big legacy, big biggest in ACC. Yeah, I apologize to uh, to all the fans, all the um, you know guys who came before us that, that allowed us to carry on that streak for for a little while. Um, but yeah, I just apologize to them. That's how I feel. No. As a, as a team leader, and I, and I think you're one of the team leaders, how do you address this Monday when you guys get back out there? Um, yeah, it's something I've definitely got to put a little more thought into. Um, you know, I've thought a, thought a little bit about it. Definitely going to, um, you know, address the team, address the offense. I'm not sure yet. Um, you know, I've got to put a little bit more thought into it to, to truly understand what the best stance is to take as a leader. Do you I had several chances in the second half to kind of go down and score, take the lead, or put the game away. Just what do you feel like was going wrong in those two those drives? Yeah, you know, there's just one or two plays that uh, that, that would set us back, or um, you know, we, we, we just weren't making the play. Um, you know, so there's so many things you could point the finger at or blame. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, the, the plays just weren't made, and um, and we weren't able to get down the field and put points in the play. Well, it's a real physical game for DJ again. Talk about the toll it's maybe taken on his body. What he has to do. Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I can definitely speak from experience. You know, you, you feel those hits, and um, you know, throughout the course of the game, you're you're continuing to stack them up and add them up, and it, it definitely takes its toll. So, uh, you know, that's something that that five can take. He can control, and uh, you know, we've, we've got no doubt in that. He was out there blocking too. Yeah, he was. That's why I love him. That's why everybody loves him. Injury, or not injury, but health wise, how do you feel? Right? Great. Yeah, um, you know, was was uh, dealing with some stuff early on in the season. Um, you know, kind of just little knickknacks here and there. Um, you know, kind of have, have gotten over those, and um, you know, at this point, just just carrying on. Yeah, it's a little bit colder. Not today, actually. The, the heat caught me by surprise. Um, but you know, it's definitely a little colder uh, the past couple of weeks. You know, so you, you feel a little bit more uh, when the temperature starts to decrease. Uh, but yeah, I feel great. Thank you. When you have drives that keep resulting without points, how do you kind of, I guess, did it at all take a toll mentally on you? Like, did you start kind of pressing it all? Do you feel like it's an offense? Yeah, momentum is a huge thing. And, you know, when um, you're on the opposite side of it, it definitely does take a toll. Uh, you know, so not getting points, not getting in the end zone, uh, you definitely feel that on the sidelines. And, um, you know, that's on the playmakers. That's that's on on me. You know, I've I've, I've got to take advantage of an opportunity and, and put the ball in the end zone more often than I did tonight. What was Coach Wendy's message after the game? Um, yeah, you know, I love all you guys. You know, my love is not conditional; it's unconditional. And um, you know, we did a great job. We, we had a forty, almost forty game win streak here. That's that's incredible. You know, that's that's absolutely incredible. So you got to appreciate that stuff. And, and everybody's devastated. Nobody wants to lose to their rival. Nobody uh, wants to sit there on a Monday and have to watch the film, hear from their coach about you know what they did wrong. Nobody wants to hear about that. No, none of these players do. I can promise you that. Um, but yeah, just move on from it. And, and how are you going to respond? And uh, you know, that, that's that's truly going to tell uh, the, the character of this team.
Did the sting more coming from Carolina? Does, does, does the loss sting more because it came from South Carolina? No comment. Were there any adjustments you feel like they made in the second half defensively that kind of took you out of your game to go yeah, you know that's that's uh, that's it's just all part of football. They're, they're gonna see see what we were successful at in the first half and uh, and, and try to combat it. So um, you know I know a couple come to mind. Uh, you know not throwing six in there until either you know red zone or third downs. So he's healthy. You know he's uh he's he's full speed out there and not worried about you know catching his breath. Uh, so you know, definitely felt that. And then you know backer scraping on, uh, on on those little you know pitch re tosses that, that DJ and I had you know, were successful on early in the first half. Um, you know, so there's just a couple that come to mind, but yeah, there were definitely adjustments that uh, that that they threw at us. Despite the turnovers in the second half, did you still get the sense? Did you still have the belief that if you could just get the ball back, you were going to be able to, to make a run and win this game? And, and there's always belief, you know. Um, even after the fumble on the punt front, there was still belief. I promise you, uh, that's what this program is is made upon, and uh, that's what we'll have as as long as we're around. So, um, yeah, to answer your question, yes, there was definitely. Can you put your finger on the turnovers as to why they, they keep popping up in bad times? You know, 12 games in the season, you have three drives, and you know, what some people consider the biggest game game. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I can't. Uh, it pisses me off. It's, it's, uh, it's very frustrating. I sit there, I sit there with Phil Moffat every single day, and I, I do ball security drills. Every, you know, it's just it's how the game is. Um, it's, it's, it's God, God is laughing at us right there, you know, right now, um, you know, because we're going to look back and, and we're going to appreciate this moment. We're going to appreciate the season. We're going to appreciate everything that has happened, right? Um, so, no, I, I can't tell you why it's happening, um, you know, in terms of Phil Moffa, Antonio, um, you know, DJ, all of those guys really focus on the moment. And, and uh, you know, you've seen it the past couple of weeks. So, um, you know, I, I don't have a clear-cut answer, but one thing I can promise you is that, once again, we're going to look in the mirror and, um, and, and we're going to try to fix the best, best of our ability. Can you take me through that kickoff play, kind of how it came about, I guess, the design and execution? Yeah, you know, we, uh, we had tried to run a little earlier in the season when they had gotten a penalty. The kicker actually boomed it, like, five yards to the end zone. So, um, you know, we, we ended up not running it. But, yeah, you know, they got a penalty. Uh, we were leading the huddle. Coach Sweeney, you know, kind of relays it to us that he, that he wants to run it. Um, and and uh, you know kicker kicker he, he kicks a great ball you know, right on the you know, outside of the hash and um, you know as a kick returner that's that's my responsibility to make that decision whether or not I'm, I'm going to return that um, and I thought it had potential to be a really really good great play um, and things things don't go that way sometimes you know like I said I don't know why um, but. Uh, I can look back and I can regret it. I can say, dang, I should have fair caught it or I should have done this or that. But, um, you know, if Phil Moffa takes that to the crib, then, then I'm, I'm saying the exact opposite, right? So, um, no, I'm just I'm so uh, satisfied with, with, uh, with everything that has happened because I know um, that we're going to be able to reap what we're, what we're uh, going against right now and um, everything's going to pay off. Is there any read on that or is it just straight total up here to feel Personally, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Y'all had a handful of punts. Um, a majority of them were coming after incomplete passes on second and third down. Does that bother you as a running back? Um. You know, I, I, I mentioned it a little earlier in a, in a question. Um, you know, I'm, I'm on the field, and, and my job as a player is to take advantage of the opportunities that I'm given. Um, you know, so I, I get my eyes over to the sideline as quick as I can. I, I get the signals, um, and and I run the play. You know, so uh, I've got full confidence in, in Coach Streeter, um, Coach Sweeney, Coach Spiller, uh, to, to get, get me the ball when I need it and, and when they feel like I need it. So... Um, you know, as a competitor, hell yeah, I want the freaking rock with with five minutes to go and in, uh, in, in the game on the line against our rival. You know, that's me as a competitor, but uh, that's not how it shakes out all the time. And um, as I said, I've got full confidence in in uh, the coaching staff and what they're calling. So just gotta gotta roll with it. Is the fact that you averaged nine yards a carry make you more frustrated? I didn't know that. That was the first time I've heard it, but. Um, 
Yeah, it does. I, I think it, it makes it frustrating for me just because I know that it, it was successful and it was working, and that's how I felt all night. You know, I, I, I don't believe they stopped uh, me running the ball all night. You know, the, the O-line did such a great job hatting it up and just giving me holes, um, you know, allowing me to kind of take my vision and, and make the most out of plays. And um, it's just a tough situation. How do you – you've lost games before. How do you best sum up losing this specific game? You, 2013 was the last time it happened. You probably don't have a, a, a memory of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, it, it stinks losing to your rival. It definitely does. Uh, a little bit more than the other ones. And, um, it's one you're going to remember. You know, there's no question about it. But hats off to South Carolina. Um, Coach Beamer, he's got a great program brewing over there. He's doing some really, really good things. So, um, you know, just a huge shout out to them um, and, and all they were able to do today. Um, and yeah, just props to that. How do, how do you use this frustration and anger and channel it into being a positive and, and use it next week against North Carolina instead of letting it kind of linger? Yeah, it's just fuel to the fire. You know, that's what we've been saying all season. So, um, you know, allow it to to continue to add more to it um, and and just uh, want to continue to accomplish our goals ahead of us. That's the biggest thing. Is you can't look in the, the rear view mirror. You know, you've got to look forward to the goals ahead, and, um, and, and that's what we're focused on. Well, when you think about the fact that this is the last game for some of these seniors, can you just put it into words just how, how tough this is to send them out like this? You have the chance to come back and, and right your wrongs and, and get another win here at Memorial Stadium. But what, what they've meant to this program and their time here at Clemson. Yeah, everyone that I saw, I, I apologize to um, because, you know, I would hate uh, – I would hate for me to be in that situation and uh, to not be able to come out on top, especially against your rival last home game. You know, there's so many things that, that go into it. But, you know, I personally apologize to everyone that I saw. I wish that I could have done more um, to send them out on a, on a victory. But, you know, they've had great careers, and there's no question about that. They've, they've got to look back and uh, be very proud of what they've done in their career. This this game carried a lot of different things and opportunities as well as pride and all of that. Is there a hierarchy right now of, of what hurts the most of, of the feelings? Um, you know, there's so many right now, so many emotions. Uh, you know, I've really got to think a little bit more about it and, um, you know, take the weekend to, to look back, go watch some film and, um, just develop my emotions. So no, not right now, not, not one that sticks out, but I can just tell you there's a lot of them. And um, yeah, I just, I feel sorry for the fans and the seniors and um, you know, everybody that relied on, on myself. Really appreciate it. Thank you.